The things that have helped me the most through the past 18 months, or whatever it is, I don't keep track, that has helped me to get through it without like getting mad or depressed or anything was my faith, which I'm a Christian and I believe in Jesus, and my family most has helped me because there was my mom was there every day and she still is every day she's never gone away or said this is too much I need to leave or anything she's been there at my side every day and she always just if I felt bad or started like crying and because you have those days even if you're positive I, she'd like hold me and tell me it's okay and we always had a theory, which was whenever I was worried about something or really down one day, she'd just tell me to pray. And I, I would do that, and I'd pray to God, and it made, thing, it made me feel better. I wasn't worried anymore, and I was, I was just calm, and it felt good. And I realized eventually that there's no point in getting mad or depressed if you get like cancer and you're still gonna have to go through what you're doing so why not have a good attitude about it I don't remember the date but I remember I was 11 and I just accepted Jesus into my heart and I don't know ever since then it's just a, a calm feeling that I always have I can seem to make light of everything considering that I make kind of jokes about me having cancer and the other day my, my sister's like I didn't want to wake you out of a dead sleep and, I was like, <gasps> and she like went <gasps> and stopped and she's like I'm sorry I didn't mean it like that I would never would have caught it I, I was like it's okay <laughs> just making light of it and I always just had a calm feeling even now I know death is coming and but that doesn't scare me at all I told Christian this but I'm not sure if it's entirely true because I, I think I'd have to read the Bible more but I told him that if he ever misses me or ever gets real lonely or if he's doing something really fun, then he just he just has to think or say, I wish Kyle could see this. And I told him that I'd come down and watch. And I'd just sit with him and I told him that I could see what he's doing. And he goes, well, can I see what you're doing? And I said, no, buddy, you can't. And he goes, oh, okay, but you can see what I'm doing, right? I said, yep. I just told him that make him feel better, you know? Because how do you explain to a five-year-old what I'm doing? I'm definitely going to miss, like, road trips going down to see Gina and Darren's goofiness and Annalise's goofiness and taking me to movies and Heather... Just, you can't explain Heather. She's just Heather. And Christian's just Christian too. <laughs> He's always getting into trouble and being crazy, so. I don't miss going to like deer camp. Because that was just, that was the one thing that was like me and my dad, you know. Just me and him. I don't really have that hard of a time. It's probably as hard as they do. Because I know where I'm going. And that I can still see them. And, and I'm going to be up there. And, and I know that I'm going to get to go meet Jesus. But they're still going to have to be here on earth. And suffer the pain and losses like this. I mean, I'm their little brother, or older brother, and I'm my mom's son, and my dad's son. That's got to be hard. I think that heaven is going to be like or my picturing of it is that it's all gold like 
shiny, you know. And then we're all going to wear gold robes. And we'll just walk around and we'll know everybody up there without even being introduced. The thing that I look forward to is shaking his hand. Just like going up to Jesus and you see the hole in his hand and just like shaking it. And you're like in awe. You're like, that's Jesus. What am I supposed to do? And you feel probably awkward. and But he... he kind of picture him like putting his other hand on your shoulder and saying it's okay my child it's calm